Hey there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gata and in this video, let us understand what are static variables or static methods in Java, the rules related to the static members and what do you mean when you say creating a static variable or static methods and why do you need them? So let's take a simple class and I will be giving a name as static demo. Now again we'll delete all of these, we don't need them. So again as usual let me first make you understand what is static. So static is a keyword in Java. Now this static keyword is also called as access modifier. So we have access specifiers, public, private. We have access modifiers which modify the access level of a variable or a method of a class. Static is called as an access modifier. Static is a keyword in Java. Now we can create static variables and we can also create static methods. Okay. Now when we talk about static variables, only variables inside a class can be declared as static. Okay. Local variables cannot be declared as static. Remember this. We can create static methods. Next rule for the static is static members can be accessed by other static and non-static members of the class. Next point, don't worry we will be, we will see in an example all these points and we'll have a clarification of the same. So static members can be accessed by other static and non-static members of the class. Okay, but static members cannot access other non-static members of the class except static members, right? We'll see why. Next point, static members can be accessed Static members can be accessed directly with the class name. We do not need the object of the class to access static members. Okay. So if you actually remember, so say for example, I say static void main. So again, the main method we declare as static. Right? because this main method is accessed by JVM. So if it is not static, JVM will have to create the object of the class, which doesn't make any sense. Plus, if you see math dot, so math class, all the variables and methods that are there, they all are static. Hence, we were directly able to say math dot square root. We don't need to say math m1 equals to new math. The way we said for scanner, scanner sc equals to new scanner. I can directly say this and we are able to access the functions of the math class on the class name. So you can see static members can be accessed directly with the class name. They do not need object of the class to be created, right? So this is about the static members. Again, static is a keyword and it can be declared only on the methods and the variables in a class. I cannot write static over here. This will give me an error and if you see modifier static not allowed here. So you cannot use static in the method parameters. I cannot also see a local variable as static. See again identifier expected. It gives me an error. So I cannot have the local variables declared as static. That's all about what is static 
and also static are like basically global variables. So in Java, usually everything you access through objects of the class, they are not directly available. But you may have some data which you want to be shared across the classes. There are methods which provide common functionalities irrespective of who is calling. So like square root. Now any class calls a square root function, I get the same result. So there are many examples where you would be creating static methods and static variables. Static variables and static methods can be accessed by any part of your application. We don't need to create the object of the class. So that's all for this video. I don't want to make this video too long. Next video we will see an example on using a static variable, static method and also we will deep dive into all the rules that I have mentioned over here. Till then, happy learning, take care and bye-bye.